Hey everyone, this is uh, Phil here with Josh Bro. Hey, how's it going? And we're recording a. Uh, are you looking at this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're recording a, a cube draft here for the ComicGunner.net. And uh, this is Power Cube, one of my favorites. And uh, yeah, it looks like a library or mock sapphire here. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a library. <laughs> I mean, the best decks always have a library. Yeah, I have to agree. Um, for those that don't know, uh, this is uh, play land, win the game. <laughs> yeah, so you play on turn one. It's <laughs> absurd. So yeah, you uh, you can only use it. If, so you just tap to draw a card, but you need to have exactly seven cards. But it's pretty easy to like get around that drawback, I guess. Yeah, and late game is still a land, so. Yeah. Yeah, it seems. I mean, that's a pretty sweet second pick mox sapphire for the next guy. Yeah, but other than that, this pack isn't too crazy. Yeah, everything else is kind of mediocre, honestly. I like Frost I mean, like Wildfire. And... But. Yeah. Alright. Oh. This is not bad. Yeah, we got, we got Tinker. Mindstone. Really on this is pretty good, too. Yeah. Um, Do we want to try and get this going? Uh, I, it, feel, I feel like that's not a bad plan. With uh, it's it's a lot better in Power Cube. It's actually not that good in the regular cube. No, but in Power Cube you have all the signets. Yeah, there's all kinds of artifact mana and all the monsters. and the blue decks are just way better. Yeah. than any other deck. Yeah, so it kind of makes sense to try to force blue, especially with the first pick library. Hmm. Yeah, nothing really stands out here. Yeah, like, uh, I mean, Strip Mine's okay, uh, Miloku, Carry Added, Mother Runes. <laughs> um, how sweet would it be if you could, like, cascade this into Tinker? <laughs> hmm. Oh. Yeah, this, this is rough. I really don't know what we would want here. I almost feel like we just want to take Maloku, but... Yeah. I've never been, like, huge on Maloku. Yeah, it's, it's probably less good in Power Cube than it would be otherwise. Do you like uh, the library, maybe? Or... Library's alright. Or the green cards? The green might not be bad. We might be able to table a carry at it or shardless. Yeah. I don't think Memory Lapse is that great, so... Uh, well, we got Thragtus. Sundering Titan. Sure. Sundering Titan. Although, I don't know if that's that great. Ah, that's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, our opponent's probably going to be playing blue. Welder's also pretty sweet in a Tinker yeah. deck. Yeah, that's true. Actually, hmm. What do you think's more likely to table Welder or Titan? Uh, I think the Welder's more likely to table. Yeah. I think we can go with the Titan here and, like, we, we can probably make Rogue happen. Yeah. Yeah, we don't even necessarily need to play the the library. We no, can no, no, see no. Yeah, how that yeah, goes. Yeah. I like I like blue red a lot in general. Yeah. Right. Crucible's sweet. Baleful Strix is sweet. Yeah. Man, we should have taken that welder. <laughs> uh, Forbid's pretty good. I like the Strix. Yeah, I like I like blue black as. Yeah. I find it's the like best. Like Grixis is pretty good too. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the best shell. Like last time, I did one with uh, Alex, and we had uh, es we had Esper, and we had like these two, like we had Esper artifacts, plus like Tezzeret in here. So that's sweet. We might be able to get that. Wow. Pretty underwhelming, I guess. Yeah. Um. I mean, Shapeshifter's not too bad. It's nice first to show and tell. It's, you know, copy their broken guy. Yeah, it's probably the best card for us here, I think. Given what we're trying to build, I think so. Alright. Can you, like, does it... Can you get this to enter the battlefield as? Yeah. If you pay five mana. Okay. So we can, like, draw a card and... Yeah. Now we can be Bug and play Abrupt K. We can just, I don't know, 
Take a Caves and try for Esper. Take the Necrotal. Yeah, I think we're... Hmm. It's pretty obvious that blue is getting cut pretty hard. Yeah. Uh, I like Necrotal. This looks like it kind of wants to be a slower, controlly deck. So, playing a guy that kills their guys. He has first strike, so... Yeah. Uh, hmm. um, Inquisition's alright. Yeah, Corpse Dance is not bad. Yeah, Corpse Dance is pretty sweet. Especially if we get the Sundering Titan in the graveyard or anything like that. We might be able to be like the Tinker slash Reanimator or like like you can be like the Show and Tell and still get the Shuffle guys with corpse dance. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if we'll play it, but nothing else really is amazing. Right, this is the first pack. All right. Well, if we do want to play corpse dance, is it term is pretty nice. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say. I think that's the only card in here I really like. Yeah, for what we're trying to build anyway. I think while well, there's in the next one, right? Yeah, I think so. Or maybe the one after. Uh, Do you like the artifact? Or? I mean, the artifact makes us discard cards. Yeah. So that might that might be good. If we're gonna stay on that that kind of plan. I mean, everything else is just whatever. Yeah, I mean, Avalanche Riders would probably be the follow up. Was it in this pack? No, because I remember we were talking about Mother of Runes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Shivan Reef. Yeah, I feel like we want Shivan Reef here. Yeah, 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 we did it. All right, sweet. All right, Let's... we're on to something. Uh, we're not playing white. Eh? No, I think we just chaos warps. Yeah, I think we just take actually, chaos yeah. warp. Uh, take the sliver. You never know. We might might want to sideboard that in. All right. One thing about the beta, you can uh, do this, which is a thing, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's not worth being on the beta. <laughs> but you got to take advantage of what. I wonder, there. like, when we're gonna stop calling it the beta. <laughs> God, so bad. The drafting is better though. The draft interface, like you can tell who's passing to who. Yeah, that was like impossible before. Well, yeah, it was possible before before in version two. No, <laughs> but people like so, make a fuss about that. Kinda. All right, what do we got here? Make sure it's a workshop. Let's <laughs> get a Karn. If we could make that happen. Consecrated Sphinx. Yeah, we're not really a workshop deck. I mean, even Trinket Mage is not that bad to maybe be able to find something that we can weld away. Yeah. Um, but I feel like we could probably table Trinket Mage. I mean, I don't know if you know this about me, Josh, but I'm a big fan of Karn Liberated. I'm also a big fan of Karn Liberated, <laughs> Phil. Sometimes you got to go big or go home. I would pretty easily snap off Karn Liberated. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing else like is super insane. We'll probably wield the trinket mage. So. Like don't get me wrong, there's a lot of good cards here, but like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> They're not current liberated. Alright, can probably put this here for now. Yeah. Be cool if we can get some signets going here. Yeah, especially on color ones. That would be nice. Yeah, like, last time I played a uh, Gruul Signet, or Esper deck, and it was like... Well, you can't play pretty neat. Oh, okay. Ooh, Mox Jet. <laughs> or Mana <Hello>. Crypt. <laughs> oh. I think Mana Crypt's... I don't know, what do you think? Uh, also, there's a Grizzle Brand, which would be pretty sweet. Yeah. I mean, I have had some bad experiences with Mana Crypt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that out there. Yeah. Like, this deck does have ways to get rid of it. It's Welder, we have Tinker. But, man. I, I guess we can turn one Tinker. All right, I'm sold. <laughs> <laughs> I just talked myself into it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we just got to win the flip every time. Yeah, but like I said, we, we got ways to get rid of it, so... Revoker uh, would be pretty sweet to come back. Yeah. Maybe we'll get Mox Jet back. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, Mass score is decent in these decks. You know it's not decent, and I don't know why it's even in this cube. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> we could probably table that. Yeah, probably. I like Impulse, but uh, um, you like Mass Core? It's better than Molten Tail Mass Core, right? 
Yes. I mean, it doesn't go to players, but it regenerates for two, pings for two. Um, does make us have to discard a card. I mean, it's our second mass score already. Uh, yeah, we're not going to play both, so is there something like... Shouldered is not too bad. Yeah, I was thinking... I even like Impulse, honestly, but I don't know. Yeah, Impulse actually would probably be pretty good in this deck. Like, it lets you dig pretty well. Because so. we're trying to win off, you know, Tinker, Welder, Corpse Dance. Yeah. Uh, the backup plan is, you know, play Karn or whatnot, but... Uh, Bitter Blossom's pretty sweet. I think the Legionnaire would be a... Oh, yeah, he is an artifact. He's a turn two artifact. Um, I don't know if Bitter... Like, this is a Bitter Blossom deck, but maybe. I mean... Bitter, like, Bitter Blossom is... You don't really need anything else. Yeah. Okay. I mean, honestly, Badlands might not be too bad either. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Makes any fetch that we draft in the future a lot better I, I as like, well. I like that. I think we can get this back. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'd be happy with Porcelain Legionnaire out of this, this back. Pentad Prism is... Some ramp... Better than Entomb, right, probably. Uh, maybe. I'm not sure. Because we can Entomb for Titan and then Welder. Yeah. Yeah, Entomb might be pretty good, actually. Plus we have Corp Dance. Yeah. Yeah, it does let us pick stuff like reanimate. Does this make you sack it when you run out of counters? No, no that's the thing. It does stay there, which is kind of mm -hmm. nice. But it might, it might, it might be better. So I mean, it, it does let us play like. Uh, I like this because we don't have as many artifacts like the low end right now. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like it, on turn three, you can go Pentad Prism into Tinker. Yeah, because yeah, you can use the counters. Uh, some sweet ones here: Electrolyze, Agony Warp, Sneak Attack, Oof. Academy Runes. Ooh, good stuff here. Do you think we, we want Academy Runes? No. I don't, yeah, I was like... Sneak Attack! I don't think we have enough for Is Sneak Attack. Thing. I like Electrolyze myself, I think. Yeah, I think I like that one too. Help us live. The fact that it cycles. Yeah. I mean, I play Electrolyze in Modern. I'm a pretty big fan of that card. Hmm. What do we got here? Not too much. Nighthawk. Nighthawk. Black Dark. Hmm. Do you think... I don't know. I'm between these two. I don't know what you're thinking. Yeah, kind of between those two as well. We don't uh, have a blue-black plan. Yeah, the, the the Nighthawk might be a bit of a stretch given the no no real fixing and it's double black on turn three. Yeah. Do you like the Aqueduct? I think I like the Aqueduct, yeah. Oof. Char, I guess, is a thing. Char or Torian Mahler is not bad either. Yeah, he uh, gets big. Yeah. yeah. He might not make. He's he's a guy that probably wouldn't make the main deck, but he can be really good in some certain matchups. Mm -hmm. I mean, he might make the main deck given how we see it. Really feels like there's four or five, maybe even six people drafting Grixis colors at this table. Like there's so little blue. Blue black, I think. Maybe not so much red. Oh, maybe. Alright. The workshop table. Is it like, can we break this? I don't know. No, it's not good enough in our deck. Yeah. There's too many times where it does nothing. Ch Chandra might not be too bad. Do you like it more than Inferno Titan? Yeah, maybe not, because we have Mana Crypt. We can play Inferno Titan pretty early. I mean, Inferno Titan is pretty insane. It is pretty big. It'd be a decent one to discard to an Is a Charm and Corpse Dance. Do you have to sack it? You exile it. Yeah. Bloodstained Mire is a nice one. Let's just get the Badlands. Yeah, you like it more than the Revoker, probably. I mean, I think so. Yeah. No, I agree. It just doesn't get, a, get us blue yet, but. Yeah, hopefully we can snag one. There was an underground in the first pack that we opened. 
Hopefully that steam auger will come back, man. <laughs> it might actually be okay okay in our deck because we want stuff in the graveyard. Uh, like they I, might I mean, not... we'll take it. We'll see what happens. <laughs> you can put it in the sideboard pile right now. Yeah. We're not going to We're not going to jump in. Searing blaze, I think. Yeah, or, or skin renders. The actually, same, yeah, you're right. Same skin. premises, Necrotal. Skin renders actually a decent guy. Firebolt, flashback, really good against aggro. I think this is more annoying. It's going to be more annoying against us, yeah. All right, all right. We need some some sweet ones. It'd be nice to get blight steel or inkwell. Yeah. Or a bunch of lands. <laughs> Grim Monolith. Yeah, there's Ralzarek. There is a Steam Vents. I mean, we can hope to table it, but... Is, like, is there something we want? Like... Grim Monolith could be pretty insane. Like, could you imagine turn... Yeah. Like, we could go turn one, Mana Crypt, Grim Monolith, land, turn two, Karn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean... I like to live. I like to, to dream large. <laughs> but I mean, we don't even need to untap this. We can just like sag it <laughs> and then bring it back. Yeah, man. There's all kinds of sweet interactions. I, like this is really powerful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we we've got some nice top end. Like this would be nice, but yeah. I, I mean, I hope, hopefully it tables. Uh, what we here? Tangle wire. Oh yeah, that, that's a good one. <laughs> That one's pretty spicy. That's a nice one to tinker away. Mm. When you're... Or to, man, with Welder? Oh, man. I hope we can get the Talisman back, though. Yeah, we won't. But... It'll be... Man. Tangle Wire and Welder can be, like, the perma shutdown. Intuition. Uh, I don't know if that's a thing. I think we would take it if it was back. Yeah. No, I, I like Tangle Wire. I take it all the time. Uh, we got here. There's top. It's an artifact. Yeah, top might not be bad. Top's another one that we can... Uh, you can activate it and then sag it, so you don't have to... I'm not sure. Can you zoom in on top? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you tap it, and then the ability goes on the stack, yeah. then you can sag yeah. it. Yeah, so yeah. If we do have the welder, it's, it's not bad either. Dungeon Guys is actually really good, too. Yeah. And there's a bounce land. But I, I like the top. Yeah, but since we're a combo deck of sorts. Channel, Shackles, Dismember. This figure is not bad. This, well, Dismember is probably better. Yeah, I think I would prefer Dismember in this deck. Doesn't look like we're going to have too many islands. No. No, I think we want Winter Orb. That's another one that can be greasy with Welder, though. Yeah. When you, you get to untap and they don't. I mean, that might be a dream, all, again, that we are, you know. It's better if you have, like, multiple welders. Yeah, exactly. We're, yeah. we're playing this one welder deck. Although we could get another one with Shapeshifter. I think I like this member. Yeah. Like, we're playing black, so. Yeah. Either thing. Compulsive Research is probably what we want here. That seems pretty excellent. You don't want Memory Jar? Oh, that's good too. <laughs> I didn't see a memory jar. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Can't it's hard to say no to memory jar. <laughs> that's a pretty sweet one. Yeah. Yeah, I think I mean, this is good too, but No, I I, I agree. I think I'm on board. Okay. Ooh, hammer cool. Or manager one. Yep. <laughs> that is pretty nice. <laughs> I don't know how that's still in there. Well, we get to I don't <laughs> ride out all these uh, these blue decks that are supposedly being drafted. I don't know. Yeah, and like Factor Fiction is still here too. Neil Drowsy looks pretty cool in this card frame. Looks better than usual. Yeah. All but, right. But yeah. Like, we have to take manager. Right oh, now. yeah. Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Show and tell. Show and but I don't know. I don't think we. It's kind of yeah, awkward we... that it's like Emrakul and then Show and Tell, though. <laughs> Can you, if we took Emrakul. Oh my goodness. That would have been good. I mean, there'd be no reason to take Emrakul. No, but then. But yeah. Knowing would, that this was coming out. It would have been amazing. <laughs> um, 
I don't like Maze of Ith, but... I like Maze of Ith. You have to play Maze of Ith as a, uh, as a, as spell. a spell. Sure, but like it's a really good spell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I think it's better than... Yeah. I mean, obviously, obviously Shontel is good, but like... Yeah. I mean, if we could put in Karn, I would, I would like it. Yeah. I agree. Yep. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Ding. All right. Faith, faithless right. looting would have been sweet otherwise, but... But I'm glad you're on board with this guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Steve Vince or oh, Val Zarek. but... I mean, it does make our fetch land a lot better. Uh, yeah, I know, but this guy untaps Grim Monolith. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. If you tell me you want the Steam Vents, I'll take the Steam Vents, but... I have a hard time saying no to turn to Rails, Eric. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I mean, I like... Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I like the Steam Vents because no, we have because li- yeah. we have library and Maze of Ith. Uh, yeah, yeah. But no, for sure. Uh, I guess we'll take War Marshal here. But you know, we're gonna be able to like library twice now. To what? Oh yeah, yeah. War Marshal. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna board him in against the uh, Aggro X One decks. Yeah, we got this guy. Firestorm might not be bad. Yeah, you don't want the color. Uh, yeah, the bounce line's probably fine. We have a lot of red black fixing already, but we don't have too much blue. The mana drain might actually be kind of kind of rough to play. There's no way we're not playing it, but well, we don't have to turn to like no. I hate a bunch of cards. Uh, I think we hate Thalia the most, yeah. or the pro black dude. Yeah, I mean we have a uh, we have Electrolyze and Zerg. Inferno Titan. I might as well neuter the white deck with this. Yeah. Molten Rain. <laughs> That's actually really good against us. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well. This is something. So, what are we looking at here? 33. 26. So, I mean, we don't have to play... We don't have to play Chaos Warp, maybe? I don't think I even want Yeah, that. I don't think we want that anymore. Uh, okay. So we have 25. Can we cut two more? Well, we got to count the Maze of Myth as a spell, right? Yeah, okay. So three more. Uh, the Mauler might... I mean, we're kind of a control deck, he seems. Yeah. Do, you, do you like him in control or no? I like him in control, but I don't think we're that control -y. Yeah. Do do you even like this really? Oh, well, not really that we're not on the corpse dance yeah, for the yeah. animator plan anymore. You still like him? I do like him because he copies their guys. Okay. Plus, like copying a Sundering Titan. Do we want to play like one less land, since we do have like two bounce lands and we have a mana crypt and a prison, no more life, or no? Yeah, I think we could. I mean, it, it's a little rough with Nicol Bolas. But the bounce lands. Yeah, I mean, I mean you just we, need black, black, blue, and red. It's not like cruel ultimatum. Yeah. Where it's like. No, I just mean the fact that he costs eight. Yeah, but, but we do have some. We have a lot of like ways to ramp up. We do have like, some ramp, yeah. Because if that's the case, we just need to cut one card. We should do what? Yeah, we're at twenty-four. If okay. You, yeah. If you count like Maze of Ithab as the land. Considering we have, like, Mana Crypt. Yeah. Like, this is, like, kind of land. Kind of. I don't know. I'm not sure. Whatever you think. Like, do we need this guy? I think we can live without him. And then we want both of these. Sure. It's awkward because, like, you have to, uh... You have to kill a dude with this, eh? So if they don't have, don't have a guy, then... Well, if they don't have a guy, we're in good shape, I think. Yeah, that's true. I think your deck is pretty happy if they don't have guys. So we could play this. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I think that's alright. I mean, we have a lot of nice cyborg cards, depending on what we're playing against. So, we have Shivan Reef and Demir Aqueduct. So we didn't get signals. Yeah. 
So that's uh, five blue sources. We can probably cut a mountain, right? Yeah, like almost all of our lands make make red. Yeah, so we have one, two, three, four, seven red. And then um, one, two, three, four, seven black and seven blue. <laughs> Six blue. Six? One, two, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the only thing we need double blue for is mana drain. Sure. And the, uh, yeah. The shapeshifter, if you want to, like, cast it. But. Yeah, but that's also turn five, so it's not as bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I don't know. I'd almost rather play something other than the island, but some of our early cards, some of, like, I guess our multicolor cards have Baleful Strix, Is It Charmed, Electrolyze. Mm -hmm. You need some blue, so yeah, this seems all right. Let's go with this. Yep. All right. Imagine... Like, we also saw Mox Sapphire and Mox Jet. Yeah. Those <laughs> would be so good in our deck. Draft. Like, we got Library and Mana Crypt instead. Which is probably better, but... Yeah. It's unfortunate. Can't live in a perfect world. We could also have Show and Tell, Emrakul, Port Stands. <laughs> Alright. Let's rock this. Yep. See you guys in round one.